The Andaman and Nicobar Islands spread over nearly 600 miles of sea in the Bay of Bengal between Cape Negrius in Burma and the Indonesian island of Sumatra is a chain of some 300 islands known as the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, also called as the Bay Islands. The islands are situated within a quadrangle formed by 10 degrees north and at 14 degrees north latitude and 92 east and 94 east longitude. The total area of the islands is 8,249 square kilometers of which the area of the Andaman group alone is 6,408 square kilometers. The Andaman group is constituted by over 200 islands and islets while the Dikobari group consists of some 200 odd islands. The distance between Calcutta and Port Blair is 1302 kilometers. From Delhi to Port Blair it is 2496 kilometers. From Chennai to Port Blair it is 1362 kilometers. Strait Island is an island of Andaman Islands. It belongs to the North and Middle Andaman Administrative District, part of the Indian Union Territory of Andaman. The island is lying 63 kilometers north from Port Blair. Strait Island is a tribal reservation. The reservation for the Great Andaman is one of the indigenous people of the Andaman Islands. It was built and is managed by the Andaman Administration. The Great Andamani Settlement was constructed with concrete houses in rows. Welfare personnel and police quarters, there is a school for children and dispensary for uh, primary health care. There is a lighthouse at the top of the tallest hill on the island. The population at the 2011 census was 54, living in 15 households from the Port Blair Harbour. There is a bi-weekly ferry service which is the only mode of conveyance available to go to Strait Island. By the late 18th century, when the British settled on Great Andaman, the Great Andamanis were divided into 10 main tribes with distinct languages, each counting between 200 and 700 individuals. The Great Andaman Islands run in a north-south line for some 350 kilometers but are only some 50 kilometers wide at its widest extent. The Great Andamanis were in reality not one but ten tribes with separate localities and dialects. The Great Andamanis divided into two subdivisions that is northern group and southern group. The northern subgroup of Andamanis are also called as Yarava. They include four groups such as Akakeri or Keri. Second one is Akakora or Kora. Third one is Akabo or Bo. Fourth one is Aka A Jeru. The Great Andaman is inhabiting in southern part of Andaman and Nicobar Islands are also called as Bojigyab. They include six groups such as Aka or Keda. Second one is Aka or Kol. Third one is Woko or Joi. Third one is A or Pusikawar. Fifth one is Aka or Bale and second one is Aka or Bia. The tribes were further split into smaller units called as Seps or local groups and families and also between shore delvers Ayoto and forest delvers or Eri Metago. All these different tribes were lumped together by the British administrators and outsiders in a 
broader group named great andamanis later to be distinguished from the jarwa the wongi and the sentinelis when the british established a permanent settlement and a penal colony in andaman islands in the year 1860 the population was estimated at 3500 individuals by 1901 only 625 great andamanis were left and following census reported steadily declined in numbers 455 in 1911 207 in 1921 19 in 1931 one extinct counted around 100 individuals in 1927 in 1949 the surviving great andamanis were relocated to a reservation on bluff island in an attempt to protect them from diseases and other threats in 1951 after independence their number had shrunk to about 25 mostly from the northern tribes they became extinct in the mid 20th century but had a few admixed individuals which went to an all time low of only 19 individuals in 1961 their number have slowly increased since then to 24 in 1971 26 in 1981 45 in 1991 and 43 in 2001 there were about 50 individuals living in straight island in 2006 and 52 individuals in january 2010 and presently 54 individuals are living today only jainu remain in significant number the kari kora and pusikwar groups also identify themselves as jeru however the cultural linguistics identities of the individual tribes have largely been lost their members now speak mostly hindi or a mixture of hindi and other languages now let us have the experiences of uh, dr a justin who is a uh, head of the institution of anthropological survey of india in kolbla and he has born here and brought up here He has working since last three decades on the aborigines of uh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The population size of the Great Andamanese is coming down rapidly. Now it came back to 38 when I have written this book uh, when I had done the field work. The population is uh, fluctuating, going up and down and uh, so on. Now I wanted to have your uh, opinion or the why the population issues associated with the great andamanis right it's true that it has been drastically reduced to today there are 55 great andamanis and of those uh, 55 there are four outsiders who have had many the great andamanis now it's a serious problem where they would go for marriage challenges they are not ready to marry with their own Nearest, niece, uh, nearest kid and kin. So those individual like me and uh, 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 that uh, the other individual uh, Loka Luke uh, has established marriage alliances with outsiders, and they are hoping, hopefully, again, so that they may able to increase the numbers. The uh, literacy rate among the great nomadies is of course uh, coming into light uh, sizable numbers of their children are studying in vivekanand gendri vidyalaya and in the class 10 uh, central board of secondary education two great nomadies have passed class 10 exams yes, one of the great nomadies boys uh, is studying in uh, uh, it dominicans so this is a kind of constructive but that they have taken themselves on the very less road uh, to mainstreaming themselves 
But the other day, this Li Ju was telling, you know, uh, Li Ju is the daughter of yes. the then chief uh, of the tribe, and she was telling, look, you know, our ancestors land may use up, taken away, and we have been uh, removed from our ancestral land to the new small island where uh, availability of varieties of roots resources. Uh, and other food resources are uh, not as compared to the situation as import and yeah. elsewhere. So this is one kind of strong kind of you know uh, uh, statement of uh, Lee Ju wherein uh, she had uh, reminisced how the ancestral lands in the present say let us say Port Blair Township had been taken away from them and then but perhaps it was uh, a rehabilitation program with the purpose to segregate them so that any unwarranted interaction with outside. Are you able to suggest certain models or policies which can help to conserve this human population? Well, uh, it's a very pertinent question. Uh, to my mind, perhaps the kind of leadership qualities that are lacking among the individual. As a, as a tribal community, per se, uh, they have a feeling that they should uh, survive. But <clears throat> what the air administration is doing is another thing. And the amic view at times is uh, 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 getting uh, different colors at different levels and they themselves are unable to lead their own communities where they should go, which uh, direction and how to. The other day I remember when we were housed in the then timber structure building at supply line, the chief, uh, the then chief Chiragi met me and said, Justin, one day people from Africa may come and inquire the Andaman and Nikoba administration that who are the original people and why they have not been accommodated in most of the responsible position in the administration. Who would be responsible for this? We want our children to occupy some of the responsible positions, uh, positions in the uh, Andaman and Nicobar administration. That was a strong feeling, but uh, it seems they are unable to carry their own aspiration. And uh, the kind of uh, misleading uh, element that uh, is attributed to the kind of interaction with outsider is taking them to a very uh, destructive. You know, the father was the head of that uh, great Andamanis. He used to command. He used to control the entire society among the great Andamanis, and also used to get the, all the facilities done from the administrators from the AHIBS. After his uh, father's death. Nobody bothers to go there straight island in the area. So now he is uh, living here in the Port Blair <coughs> with his uh, family, you can see, daughter, son and wife, he himself. He is a small family. He is happily living, there is no doubt about it. But his uh, whole heart is there in the straight island. I know. Huh? He wanted to go for straight island. There should be a good institution from the central government, then only these children can be educated. These children can be brought into the mainstream of the society. Otherwise, it is very difficult. As long as they are getting education in the Straight Island or uh, Middle and South Andaman or in the Shompen Hut at uh, Great Nicobar Island and Little uh, Hut Bay by the Wongis or Shompens, they won't get educated because there is a school, no doubt, but there practically is nothing is happening over there. So, these children who are uh, from the fifth year onwards, they should be brought into the mainstream of the society means we have to construct a hostels for these people. And there should be a central school, micro level project, which uh, I, I have uh, presented you in the Orissa educational system. Like that, you know, these children can be educated. Otherwise, it is very difficult because education is also very expensive. He is getting 17,000 rupees from his pocket. He has to pay 7,000 rupees rent for his family maintenance. Again, education in the outside is very difficult. 
So there is a need. I think I request the policy makers and the planners to look into the aspect of this education. It's one of the primary thing under Sarva Siksha Abhiyan or under the Social Justice Empowerment or Tribal Welfare Department from the central of the state government should take up education as a major one and separate policy planning should be developed to accommodate all the children of these five primitive tribes in Port Blair. A school, come hostel should be constructed especially for these people. The challenges that the great Andamanis face are more complex than they appear. One of the biggest challenges has been the large influx of people from mainland India. The population in the islands has grown sixfold from about 60,000 in 1960 to an estimated 380,000 today as per 2011 census. The construction of Andaman trunk road, rehabilitation of refugees in the island, expansion of the port air base, tourism, increase in urban growth are some of the factors which have direct impact on the depopulation of the tribal population. Another challenge has been the high infant mortality rate due to malnutrition. This is probably one of the foremost reasons for the continuous decline in their population. Today, we have only 51 individuals left of the great Andamanis who are living. The Andaman and Nicobar administration has taken all efforts to develop and protect the great Andamanis, but it is becoming very difficult. This is because of the great Andamanis are exposed to the modern civilization and are acculturated to a great extent in all spheres of life. So it is very difficult to limit their lifestyle. More than 50% of them are living in poor by town. Some of the options left to us to protect the great Andamanis are provide good basic infrastructure facilities in the Strait Island so that few of them can continue to stay back in the Strait Island and provide good education, health care and employment opportunities these great Andamanis people. Continue to providing free ration to all the great Andamanis. A separate colony may be developed for the great Andamanis in Port Blair. The need of the hour is to formulate a policy not by a non-anthropologist. An anthropologist should be given a free hand. Whereas Jawaharlal Nehru has given a free hand to Barrier Elvin to bring into the policies. That is why he prepared a Panchashil, which is Jawaharlal Nehru has accepted and implemented. That is why I suggest, I request the Prime Minister of India and the President of India and the policy makers at different levels and administrators and bureaucrats, we have to take the concern and opinion of the anthropologist how to cons conserve uh, the, the aborigines in India. That is very, very important. Otherwise, all these primitive tribes may extinct uh, from the planet, if not uh, today or in the times to come. We cannot see any of the aborigines, not only in uh, Anumal Islands, but also in uh, mainland. That is why.